Good morning students. My name is Shami. I'm from GK Dream School. Today we are going to see 3rd Standard Science Unit 1, My Body. Yesterday we have seen about the physical or sensory challenge person and about the importance of physical exercise. So, the handicapped. We should not call the physical challenge person as handicapped. We should call them as differently abled person. So, we have to help them, help the differently abled person. How we can help? By giving them way, by opening door for them, by crossing the road if they are blind. So, before that, we have to ask them if they need help from us. If so, we can help them with their guide, guidelines. So, we can cross the road, we can open the door for them. Then, you can give way for them so that they can go before then we have seen about the importance of physical exercise why is it important for us to do exercise like you can do running jogging doing yoga all this you can do why it is necessary because it helps us to maintain our body weight it helps us to be more healthy it helps us to our bones and muscles to be more stronger and strengthen our muscles and bones. Then it helps us to sleep well. If we do exercise, it helps us to sleep well. The digestion process will be improved. Then our brain will function well if we do exercise. So doing exercise is good for our health. So, in this video, we are going to see about the sample questions. So the first question we're going to see do germs make people sick if you're having germs in your hands if you're eating with the germs it will make you sick or not yes the answer is yes it will make us sick the germs will make us sick if you're eating the germs which is present in your hand without washing your hands and eating your food it will go to your stomach and then the germs will make us to fall sick. Yes. Can you see the germs? No. Can't see the germs. It will not be visible for us. Only with the magnification lens, we can see the germs. Can we eat snacks or food without washing hands? No. Why? Because it will cause us sick or disease or fever so we should wash your hand and then we have to eat our foods we should wash your hands our hands with a hand wash then we have to take a food it is good if we bite our nails often no why because if you are having a nails the the germs or the dust particles will be in your nails. So, should not bite your nails. If you are having nails, often you have to cut your nails. You have to clean your hands. So, if you wash your hand, the dust particles which is present in your nail will be clean. So, you should not bite your nails often. The answer is no. Fifth question. If someone abuses you or hurts you, you can call dash and get help. Which number you can call? Helpline number is, you can use helpline number 1098. The answer is 1098. See, you are playing in the park. Someone gives you eatable things or toys what will you do you eat or tell i don't need so if someone is 
giving you eatable things or toys when you're playing in a park, you should tell them, I don't need it. The answer is tell, I don't need it. If someone touches you, you feel uncomfortable, what will you do immediately? To whom you will inform this? So if anyone touches you, you feel uncomfortable, what you will do immediately? You have to inform your parents. Should not hide it. Immediately you have to tell your parents, your mother, your father, grandpa, grandma, sister, brother. Or your teacher. You should inform them immediately. No one have rights to look at, touch or talk about your private parts. Yes, no one have rights. Even we don't have rights to touch another person's private part. So the answer is yes. No one have rights to look at, touch or talk about our private parts. Yes. If someone older asks you to look, touch or talk about their private parts, we should tell no or do not. Should not do it. Right? So not do. The answer is not do. We should not do. If someone asks us also, you should not do that. So not do. The ninth one answer is not do. Tenth one. Should we help? Differently able person. Yes, of course, we can help them. We can help them to cross the road. We can open the door for them. We can give them way for them to go. So, we can help them. So, the tenth one answer is yes. Next question, eleventh one. Wet your hands before washing. So, here the answer is this or this, this one. So, you have to wash your, wet your hands before washing. Then rub the thumbs. So, after washing, you have to rub the thumb. So, the answer is this one. Then apply soap on hands. So, once you wet your hand, you have to Apply soap on that. You should not wash again. You have to apply soap on the hands. The answer is this one. Then use enough water to rinse the hand. To, to wash your hands, you have to rinse with enough water. So the answer is this one. Rub the back of the fingers. So you can see you have to rub back of the fingers. The answer is this one. Sixteenth one, wash your hands at least for two minutes. You can see. This one. Wash your hand at least two minutes. So put a tick for correct action and cross for wrong action. So what do you have to do? You should not. So this one should not Go. You should go in the toilet. You should not do outside. So, this is wrong. So, you should go in a toilet. So, this is right. Here, you should sit and you have to do. You should go in a toilet. So, this is right. Then after, once you are using your toilet, you have to wash with your, wash your hands and you have to dry your hands. So, this is right. Then you should not wash your legs in a wash basin like this. So this is wrong. Even you should not go to toilet like this in this position. So this is wrong. So the answer is, correct answer is this one, this and this. So this, this and this are wrong. So use soap for bathing. You have to use soap for bathing. Why we have to use? Because it kills the germs present in our body. So, the smell or the smell from the body will be removed. So, this is the correct answer. You have to use soap. So, you have to help a person or not. You have to help. So, it is the answer is 19th one answer is yes. 
using toilet is a good habit so this is good or this is one so this is outside you should not use toilet outside so you should use toilet in a toilet so this is right 20 this is right we should wash our hands dash playing out so we should wash our hands after playing out so after you are playing out and coming first we have to wash your hands you should wash your hands with hand wash so intensity of worms causes what pneumonia so the worms present will cause pneumonia so eating dash is good for health eating fruits is good for health you should not eat packed snacks instead of packed snacks we should use plenty of fruits which keeps us healthy 24 dash improves our brain functions so eating junk food or doing exercise so if you do exercise it improves our brain functions so if someone's touch hurts you then it is a good touch or bad touch if someone touches you hurts you it is a bad touch to 25th it is a bad touch dash is the word used to refer to a disabled person handicapped or differently abled 26th answer is differently abled use soap to wash your hands 27th it is true or false you have to use soap to wash your hands so that the germs will be cleaned or it is killed so it is true open defection cause cholera cholera yes it is true so the 28th answer is true so you have to use toilet bathing reduces blood circulation bathing reduces blood circulation bathing help us to improve our blood circulation but it will not reduce the blood circulation so 29th answer is false so if you take bath it will improve our blood circulation not reduces 30 show pity on physically challenged person or people yes it's true 31 always use earbuds to clean your ears it's false you should not use a earbuds to clean your ears 32 dash organ is used for taste ears nose tongue or ye eyes for taste we will use tongue so the 32 answer is tongue 33 dash organ is used for smell it is ears nose tongue and eyes it is nose 33 answer is nose 34 dash organ is used for sight which organ is used for sight for seeing eyes nose tongue and eyes sorry ears nose tongue and eyes it is eyes 35 dash organ is used for hearing ears nose tongue and eyes it is ears so 32 the answer is tongue 33 the answer is nose 34 the answer is eyes 35 the answer is ears so tongue help us to taste eyes help us to see or sight nose help us to smell ears help us to hearing so you can visit our you can visit our school site www www.gkjainschool.origin a facebook page instagram and twitter in gk jain schools the admission is going on for pre kgs to 11 standard you can contact a number 7338939363 only limited seat is available you can contact us soon thank you students tomorrow i'll see you in other session